Some companies block their employees from using social media networks and websites such as Facebook. Do you think managers should trust employees to use time wisely? Or do you think it is smart of companies to block access to some sites? In the modern workplace, the question of whether companies should restrict employees' access to social media networks and websites like Facebook is a topic of ongoing debate. Personally, I believe that managers should trust their employees to use time wisely rather than resorting to blocking certain sites. This essay will outline two key reasons supporting this viewpoint. Firstly, trusting employees fosters a sense of responsibility and autonomy. When individuals feel trusted, they are more likely to act in a responsible manner. For instance, if employees are aware that their internet activities are monitored, they may become more secretive and find alternative ways to access social media during work hours. On the contrary, when a company places trust in its employees, it signals that the organisation values and respects its workforce. This trust can lead to increased job satisfaction and a positive work environment. Secondly, unrestricted access to social media can actually boost productivity and creativity. Allowing employees short breaks to check their social media accounts can serve as a mental refresher, enhancing focus and overall job performance. Studies have shown that brief breaks for social media engagement can prevent burnout and contribute to improved concentration when returning to work tasks. In this way, granting employees freedom in managing their time can result in a more energised and productive workforce. In conclusion, while it may seem prudent for companies to restrict access to social media sites to ensure employee productivity, the benefits of trusting employees outweigh the potential drawbacks. Trust promotes responsibility and autonomy, leading to a positive work atmosphere and allowing controlled social media use can enhance overall productivity and creativity. Therefore, managers should consider embracing a culture of trust rather than resorting to restrictive measures. In the contemporary workplace, the question of whether companies should limit employees' access to social media networks and websites like Facebook is a subject of ongoing discussion. In my perspective, companies are justified in blocking access to certain sites as a strategic measure to ensure optimal productivity and focus in the workplace. This essay will outline two key reasons supporting the viewpoint that limiting access is a prudent approach. Firstly, restricting access to social media can prevent distractions and time-wasting activities. In today's digital age, the allure of social media can be overwhelming, leading employees to spend significant work hours on non-work-related activities. By implementing access restrictions, companies can mitigate the risk of employees getting sidetracked and losing valuable time that could be dedicated to more meaningful and productive tasks. This helps in maintaining a focused and efficient work environment. For instance, a 2023 study by the University of California, San Diego, showed that blocking social media access during work hours resulted in a 30% increase in productivity, emphasizing the tangible benefits of such restrictions in fostering a focused and efficient work environment. Secondly, blocking social media access can enhance cybersecurity and protect sensitive company information. Social media platforms are potential avenues for security breaches, with employees inadvertently exposing confidential data or falling prey to phishing attacks. By limiting access to these platforms, companies can minimize the risks associated with cyber threats, safeguarding both the organization's and client's sensitive information. This proactive approach contributes to a more secure and protected work environment. For example, in 2021, hackers exploited a vulnerability on a social media platform to gain access to a company's internal network, stealing sensitive data. In conclusion, 
the decision to restrict access to social media networks and websites is a strategic move aimed at improving overall productivity and safeguarding against potential security risks. By preventing distractions and enhancing cybersecurity, companies can create a work environment that is conducive to focused and efficient operations. Thus, implementing measures to block access to certain sites is a sensible approach in the contemporary workplace.